Today I'm with my friend Kyla. Hi. And she lives in Paris, but we're both Nebraska natives. So we're both in Nebraska right now and decided to get together and film some videos. So today we wanna to talk about manifestation and the law of attraction. I have filmed a video on the law of attraction before, but I haven't really talked a lot about it on my channel. So I'm super excited to do a video on it with Kyla today since her channel has a lot more videos like that. So I wanted to channel that energy in today's video. So we're gonna be talking about five of our biggest manifestations in our lives. And so first we're gonna start by explaining what the law of attraction or manifestation are. For those of you who aren't really familiar, just kind of a basic mm -hmm. kind of definition of it. Right. So what would your definition be? The law of attraction or manifestation is your external reality reflecting your internal state. So really being able to call into your reality what you want and what you think about and desire um, internally. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And I would say, just to add on to that, the reason it's called the law of attraction is like, like attracts like. So if you have a certain energy and a certain mindset, you'll naturally attract certain things into your life. Everyone lives by the law of attraction, but living consciously using it is a very different experience. And so everyone, whether they know it or not, is using the law of attraction day to day, but we're into consciously using right. it, which is what we're gonna talk about yeah. today. And consciously, how we've consciously created things in our own reality based off of what we've wanted. Mm -hmm. And we're filming a similar video on my channel as well. We're gonna be talking about how we manifested living in Europe. So, <laughs> so be sure to check out that one after this one as well. But yeah. I'm really excited to talk yeah. about all the things we've manifested. Uh huh. And manifestation, like the definition of that, would just kind of be bringing your desires into fruition, I would say, yeah. consciously. Mm -hmm. Yep. I really do think that it is your reality reflecting what's going on internally. So if you're very conscious about what you wanna bring into your life and what you desire, and you act in that way, then it really does happen pretty pretty effortlessly, which we'll kind of get into today. Mm -hmm. So we're each going to share five big manifestation stories. Um, in our lives overall, things that we've made happen consciously. So my first one is last year, I haven't told Kyla this story yet, um, but last year I was really struggling financially and I had no rent money. I was just, you know, decided, okay, I'm gonna manifest my rent money for this month. I don't know how it's gonna get here and that's a big part of the law of attraction, not focusing on the how and letting sort of the universe figure that out. And so I was like, I don't know how this is gonna happen, but my rent money is on its way. And so I went to get the mail the next day. I was actually in the US at the time and I never checked the mail, but that day I decided to check the mail. And so I had a letter and I never get mail here because I live in Italy most of the time. So it was kind of weird. And I had gotten just a random amount of money. I won't say from who or from where, but I got like, it was the exact amount I needed to pay my rent and it was a check. That's crazy. And I was totally unexpected and just like the only time it's ever happened and I needed the money right in that moment. Like That's if it had insane. come a month yeah. later, it wouldn't have been the right time. I put the desire out there and I put out, you know, my manifestation. I said the money's on its way and I just trusted instead of getting all anxious and fear-based, I was just like, it's on its way. And I let go and then the next day I had it. That's crazy. So. That's a great story. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start with one of my bigger manifestations and that was to really live in France. It's always been a dream of mine and even though when I was younger I wouldn't say it was something that I was consciously manifesting, it has still always been a desire of mine to live in France. And then in university I really started trying to call it into my life. I knew that I wanted to study abroad in France and so I ended up studying abroad in a town in western france and yeah then that's kind of how my love story with france began and after that i manifested living in paris which i'll get into more specific manifestations with that as well but really living in france and being fluent in french has always been a dream of mine and i really consciously manifested it by writing it down and making sh like making it a desire in the forefront of my mind and because i knew that it was in the forefront of my mind or because i knew that i wanted to manifest it in the forefront of my mind it is something that i consciously created in that way and so 
so for sure I manifested living in France and Paris specifically and all the travel I've done while living in France and then being fluent in French language as well mm -hmm. yeah I have a similar one with Italian language that's my next one um, by the way, that's awesome. I mean, we've talked a lot off camera, so I'm, I'm just like, yeah, whatever, you live in France, but yeah, that's very cool. <laughs> Mine is related to language too, and it's how I became fluent in Italian, and I had no idea how it would ever happen, but when I was in high school, we had to write a letter to our future self, and I wrote like that I'm fluent in Italian. I said, I know you're fluent in Italian, and you speak it effortlessly and you dream in Italian and I kind of just wrote into existence what I wanted to happen I think it was a letter to myself in 10 years That's so cool And now that was about 10 years ago that I wrote that I was a freshman in high school That's insane Yeah, yeah. so it came true now I'm fluent I ended up going to school and majoring in Italian language in Florence Which I had no idea that was in my path when I wrote this letter to myself and I feel like putting it on paper and like envisioning that is a really powerful manifestation tool and so that's yeah that was a really big kind of testament to how the law of attraction can work right well and I think for both of us like growing up in Nebraska it wasn't really even in our like pictures of our life going forward to manifest living in Europe like for me it was something that I wanted for sure but like when I was in high school and when I was younger, it wasn't something that I thought was possible for me. And so that's what was really great about learning about manifestation and the law of attraction is because you really start to believe that everything is possible for you and it is and so by kind of learning that we've both been able to like create our dream lives in that way mm -hmm. so i think that's yeah one of the most powerful lessons about like being able to create your reality like right really anything is possible for you even if it seems like it's not right yeah you're creating your reality whether you know it or not and once you start to do it consciously, the world gets even bigger, but it's also not scary because you feel very in control of what you're manifesting. Right, exactly, so, yeah. yeah. All right, so my next one has to do with relationships, and I manifested a person that I was in a relationship with in the past. Um, we're no longer together, but it was really a powerful example to me of how I could create even a person out of nothing. I took my journal and I wrote like 10 pages and such specific details about this person, what they looked like, what they were interested in, what languages they spoke, what hobbies they had, what foods they liked. Like I was so specific because I wanted a physical proof that I could manifest a partner. And so I wrote this list thinking, okay, if I really am this powerful, this can be your proof. And so I kind of did it hoping it would come true but I didn't expect every single point to be matched because I had such an extensive list and every single point was matched when I met this person and I met them like three months after I wrote this list and the list really helped me to focus on what I was looking for and kind of figure out what I wanted in a partner which helped me find them even quicker and then once I looked at the list after we've been dating right. for a few months, I was just like, whoa, they literally every little thing, like just, you know, random specific examples that I put there to intentionally be like, okay, I'm gonna get really specific to see how powerful I am. And it worked. Now that's crazy. And I have very similar experiences with that as well, which can be my second point. Um, and that's, I've also manifested two partners, like, with exact list and they fit pretty much every single thing on the list after i've written it down i have manifested that like exact those exact qualities in a partner so that's with my current partner in a previous one i was very intentional about what kind of qualities i wanted and um for my previous partner it was very specific as well and then for my current partner again it was like very specific right down to like the physical appearance the height like everything and then also the fact that um he was bilingual and french and english like that was very important to me um and so and was european like all of these things which are sound very shallow i also <laughs> had not shallow things on my list <laughs> such as um i wanted my partner to be very adventurous and for that to be like one of their number one driving qualities and very intelligent and have like this specific sense of humor and really everything has come true for on that list for me as well so writing down specific qualities of partners i've definitely manifested that and i think that's important and and fun to do as well mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's huge you guys should try it <laughs> <laughs> it's worked for both of us okay 
So similar to Caroline's check story, I also manifested a very big sum of money out of nowhere, like really out of nowhere. I had just begun doing a lot of work around my money story, so kind of unpacking my limiting beliefs around money and believing that like money could flow to me easily, money could come to me easily. I just started doing a lot of work around that. And I had also just enrolled in grad school. And so I needed a large sum of money to help pay for grad school in my apartment while, while in grad school. And I kid you not, out of nowhere, I manifested a huge sum of money, not like hundreds of thousands, but like thousands. Yeah, like <laughs> thousands of dollars in order, like in order to pay for for school, which is crazy because this money came really from a relative that I didn't know existed before. And so I just received a letter saying that I was like going to get this amount of money. And so it really came completely by surprise and I used that money to pay for grad school and it covered almost all my, my grad school expenses. And so for at least the first year, which is so incredible. And so yeah, manifesting money out of nowhere is, one of like I was setting the intention to get money in order to provide myself with the life that I wanted to live during grad school and that intention really did come true so doing work around your money stories what you believe you're capable of earning and what you believe you're capable of getting is really really potent and really really important mm -hmm. yeah it's huge yeah that's an awesome story I love that yeah <laughs> so my next story has to do with YouTube my next manifestation story I just had this idea that I really wanted a sponsorship and I wanted I knew I had a smaller channel and so I was thinking okay maybe it might take a while but I'm just gonna start manifesting this I wrote it out I like to future journal so I put a future date in my journal and then I journal as if I've already had that thing so I wrote this journal entry about how I had this sponsorship. I was very specific about the amount of money and kind of the company, the kind of company I was working with. And then I ended up like a week later getting this email from this company. And I wasn't really sure if it was legit or not because I knew I had a smaller channel, but it turned out that they wanted to work with smaller creators for these collaborations they were doing. So um, I ended up getting my very first sponsorship and completely manifested it because it was within a week of me deciding I wanted a sponsorship and doing my future journaling and having that email come to me and then it was I think a week later that we settled everything and I ended up filming a video for them so yeah it was a really kind of powerful example to me of how I could quickly manifest something too because that happened so quickly right that's so cool thanks <laughs> so my next manifestation story has been about my apartments that I've manifested in Paris specifically. So it was about a year before I was moving to Paris or maybe like eight months before I was moving to Paris because this is right after I found out I was going to be moving there for school. And I was picturing this very specific apartment in my mind of what I wanted. And I even wrote down like the arrondissement, so like the neighborhood in Paris that I wanted to live in. And I wrote that down specifically, like I wrote down the neighborhood of Paris that I wanted to live in, like all these details about it having natural light, the kind of kitchen it had. I wanted it to have a dishwasher, which is quite rare in France, an oven, which is also quite rare, and air conditioning, which is very rare. <laughs> and so I wrote down that I wanted all of these things. I also wrote down that I wanted a um, one bedroom apartment. And so a few months go by and I'm starting to actually look for apartments that I'm going to be moving into. And I find this apartment in the exact neighborhood I wanted to live in. and. This apartment was a studio and I didn't really think anything of it. I was like, okay, that's fine. Close enough. The apartment is still fantastic. It still has the amenities that I want. It still has everything that I want. So I'm going to move into this apartment. And so I moved into that apartment several or a few months later after I had signed the lease and all of that. And upon moving to Paris, I moved into that apartment. And instead of it being a studio, which is what it said and all the pictures showed, it was actually a one bedroom because they had put up a wall in between the bedroom and the living room area. So even though like I was completely okay with having a studio, like it just shows how 
my specific manifestation that I had wanted really panned out. And so your intentions and what you write down and what you think about for yourself can be really, really important and really, really powerful. And so that was just a crazy sort of experience that I, that I had. And then I'm just about to move into my new place in Paris and I manifested that as well. The apartment is perfect in the exact neighborhood that I want again, right by the canal in Paris, which is right where I wanted to live, the exact neighborhood I wanted. And, um, this one has a huge terrace which is so Whoa. cool and so i can have a lot of plants and have some space to do yoga and work out and all of that and so i'm very excited about this manifestation as well so really i've always set intentions about what i want my apartments to look like where what neighborhoods they're in and how much i want to spend and i always usually end up finding exactly right about that so it it really does work Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm excited to see your new place. Are you going to do a YouTube video? Yeah, I'm for sure going to do a tour once I'm all moved in. So be sure to yeah, check keep, it out. Yeah, <laughs> keep, keep an eye out. So my next manifestation, my last one actually, is similar to Kyla's because I manifested an apartment too. I had just gotten out of a relationship in Italy and I had never lived on my own before. So I was really, I had a lot of fear around finding a place and then I just sort of decided, you know what? this fear and anxiety I have, let me just put that aside and do another future journal. That's one of my favorite manifestation tools, so I do that a lot. And I journaled like all the details of my apartment. I said it was newly furnished and had air conditioning and had Wi-Fi and a nice TV and a big bed and a really nice kitchen and a nice shower. Like I was so specific with the details. I said there was outdoor space. I ended up finding this apartment that was a studio, perfect for one person, really tall ceilings. And it had an outdoor lemon garden so I could go outside and just like so be cool. in the sun in my garden. It was all private. And that was where I ended up doing quarantine too. So it was like perfect because I had an outdoor space while we were locked down and I could have sunshine every day and I had my own space and they just renovated the whole place. And it was really crazy how I ended up finding it because I was looking all over town. It was this small town in Italy on the coast. So it was really hard to find places, um, especially newer places that had recently been renovated that were comfortable and air conditioning. Like you said, it's really right. hard to find in Europe. <laughs> So um, after days of searching for apartments, I just kind of gave up and was like, you know what? Let me just take a break for a few days and then I'll restart again. My mom was in town, so I wanted to spend time with her. And we were sitting, having a drink one night at this cute little bar. And then we overheard this guy at the table next to us talking about an apartment he just finished furnishing and was going to rent out. In English or in Italian? In Italian. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and so then um, I was like telling my mom, this guy, he's talking about an apartment he has in this town and he just furnished it and my mom was like well go talk to him and I was so nervous to just go put myself out there but I felt like it was divine that he was sitting right next to us and I overheard his conversation so I went and talked to him and he's like yeah come see it right now and so he took me to see it and then he told me the price and it was right in my budget and he was like okay it's set and we like shook hands that's and I had insane. an apartment that night <laughs> yeah that's crazy <laughs> yeah that's so crazy yeah and it was like the best apartment situation ever. I love that story so, that's great yeah thanks yeah that was a really fun one oh that's awesome <laughs> okay so my final manifestation story that I'll share in this video is about getting into my dream grad school and my current uh, job position that I'm about to start as well um, so I found this program at my grad school that I go to in Paris and I knew that it was the one for me like I knew that it was the program for me but it was very selective it's very selective to get into I think it the school has about like less than an 8% acceptance rate and my program was even like smaller percentage than that and so I was a little bit nervous to like kind of put all my eggs in that basket so to speak but I knew that it was the right school for me so I uh, journaled about it and wrote about how I knew that I was going to be living in central Paris going to this school studying this and I study international management so it really is kind of perfect for uh, for the job that I want to do and living in Paris and working in Paris and all of that. So I knew that I wanted to go and do that program, but I was nervous about it. But I decided to just apply to that one school, that one program anyway. And I was really nervous. I was kind of obsessed with like when I would get my acceptance letter back or when I would hear back in general from the school. And 
finally I like had spoken to someone about it and we were like we just discussed how I needed to just like let go of this obsession with getting into the school and so I was like you're right I'm just gonna release the obsession about it release being so fixated on it which is very important in manifestation not to be so obsessed with it that you feel like you're grabbing on tight and trying to control it really is important to come from this confident energy of that you already have it. And so I kid you not, I, I let it go. I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop being obsessed with it. I'm just gonna relax. And a few days later, I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw this girl like post an acceptance letter to something else on her Instagram. And I, in that moment, was just visualizing how I would do something similar if I got in and got into my school. And I decided to check my email a few minutes later and I had the acceptance letter sitting in my inbox. Oh my God. Yeah, so it was like super crazy, exactly like as soon as I let go of this obsession and because I knew this was the school and this was the program that was meant for me I I got in and it's been a great fit for sure and that's also really similar to how I manifested my current job or internship and this job like didn't come easily at first because I was so obsessed with finding a perfect position I knew that I needed to find a position so I applied to probably over 30 jobs in Paris like not knowing exactly what I wanted and then this job there was a recruiter who emailed me about this job like I didn't apply for it so the crazy thing is like what's meant for you will always find a way mm -hmm. like I this job ended up being the perfect job and all the other ones that I was obsessed with and like fixated on but didn't really want didn't come through mm -hmm. but the one that I actually really wanted like came Your about yeah, yeah in the most magical way and it mm -hmm. ended up being like perfect for me exactly what I want so it's really insane and I don't know I think those two kind of go hand in hand and just show that like what's meant for you really will work out for you especially if you have that like potent intention behind it mm -hmm. so, I love that yeah. awesome that's a great way to end the video I think yeah. so yeah, those are all of our manifestations. I hope this inspires you guys to see how powerful we are as creators of our reality. And you can take some of this information and use it in your own life to manifest your own desires because we all are very, very powerful and can create the lives of our dreams. And as cliche as that sounds, it's so true. And as soon as you start putting these things into practice and being really conscious with what you want to manifest, it's insane how Absolutely. quickly it comes yeah. to fruition. So yeah, and even like how we manifested each other, like <laughs> yeah, we should so have talked about that. Yeah, but, like we're we're friends now, and the way that like we came about each other, we found each other online, which is insane, and then like became friends on Instagram and then like ended up just like having a Skype or a Zoom, Zoom. call mm -hmm. while we filmed our last collaboration uh -huh. and then like ended up being in Nebraska at the same time. So like even our friendship was so like divine timing right. and like so crazy. And we're so into all the same yeah, things. Yeah, like, we, we just talk for hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we have very similar paths and so yeah, super crazy in that way as well. Yeah, um, and both being Nebraskans who ended up in Europe. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're both really into like everything, like yeah, manifestation, spirituality. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. Well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the videos on Kyla's channel. Yeah. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao for now. Bye.